it's Olga Heldwein here and today I want to show you step by step how I created this layout with Semanific Mixed Media Kit. I started with uh, gluing my base paper to the regular cardstock to get thicker base of my project. I really like the mesh in my project, so I include uh, this pink paisley frame on uh, foam squares uh, to my photo uh, to get more dimension and more 3D effect. I mark the place when I want to put my photo on the project and then with a sponge I went with acrylic uh, paint through the mask. Um, in some areas I did old texture, uh, old pattern and on some just uh, single circles, bubbles. Uh, to get more virus uh, texture in background. And to make my um, background more interesting, I add some spots uh, from acrylic paint mixed with water uh, I do this with stick and just drilling it in paint and poke a few times I prepared some uh, stripes from paper and just uh, add it around my composition then just uh, stitch it on my uh, sewing machine I'm gluing those stripes only on the middle of each stripe because then I will stress the edges of each stripe uh, to have more uh, structures in my work bit of messy look I add a third pieces of paper under my photo. I stitch them in three as well before I glue them. On big surfaces like under my photo or under big elements and uh, instead of foam squares I use um, pieces of uh, keyboard for Texas. It gives me a bigger uh, surface and blue and uh, more dimensional effect uh, in my work. <laughs> my photo on the keyboard and adding another layers and adding them under my photo and then composition to make, um, to make more space. I'm 
trying to concentrate all elements around the portal because it's the main piece of my work. So everything I'm adding uh, is focusing around the portal. Don't be afraid to throw your flowers uh, and always uh, distressing them to the more dimension, more natural. Um, you can use water uh, to get uh, better distress. Preparing a title from the piece of paper, but it's thin paper, so I have to glue it on some cheap, cheap gold element, then just cutting it off and uh, adding to my work on um, double bones. Time for some flowers, this um, big one I just glued directly uh, to my work and the small ones I uh, just um, collecting in groups, uh, you know, uh, just um, wear them uh, up together. Uh, I can cut some on the pieces to get smaller and bigger ones in the same color. Um, this way they look more natural and I have bigger element to compose in my work. When I was resizing part of flowers, I have uh, those leftovers, those first layers of uh, original flower. I'm adding them too into composition and uh, to make them more interesting, more natural, I'm adding um, yellow glass beads uh, in the middle of each one of them. As finishing touch I'm adding some leaves uh, around my flower and uh, spots from uh, pink mist. Uh, just remember to cover your photo or elements that you don't want to be uh, splashed. Uh, you can cover it with keyboard or simply uh, with your hand. Um, 
And before I do it, uh, I'm adding uh, also small elements like butterflies and all, all the uh, smallest details I'm adding always at the end of the work. Uh, this way they will be not lost in, in my composition.